everyone back to Shaka Sports Turf. It's the final game of our All-Star Showcase here, Cheese League Baseball on YouTube. Thank you so much for joining us. We have the Cheddar All-Stars versus the Pepper Jack All-Stars. This is the final game, folks. This is for all the marbles. Kind of a Twilight game here, too. So we have Langston Ali leading it off for the Cheddar All-Stars. At Bo Lawson out there on the hill. Ooh. Lawson you know, kind of got away from her. And there's a strike. Granted, Tubman long throw up over at third base, and that is out for one. Here's Aldo Davis. Of Colonel Stain. Bo Lawson, of course, from the Feud and Fouls. Bo's activated. Good pitch there. There's a strike. Three and one. And there's another strike. Full count. And that one is tanked, but directly up. Gosh, we would have really connected with that. That would have went like a thousand miles. <laughs> that would have been one of those 500-foot shots that you hear about in Super Mega Baseball 3. Those rare 500-foot shots. Class Spark steps in now, the catcher today for Cheddar All-Stars. And that's a base hit up the middle. Barnesville in center field. Let's pump the mic. There's Barnesville in center field to get things going. Lawson was 2-2 two two last season, 3.27 ERA and 24 strikeouts for those feed and fouls. So pretty darn good pitcher, good strikeout pitcher. Ooh, McLongthrope can't handle that at third base. Everyone is safe. And the Cheddar All-Stars have a pair of runners on with two outs here. Top of the first is Justice Bird. Third, of course, will be rebranded Grazers for the Buffalo. And now it gets away from Sicily behind the plate. Everyone is safe. The runners advance. Two. I always felt bad for catchers that had to catch, you know, people at all-star games because they're not used to the fight on the pitches. Not used to the bite on the pitches, you know, not used to how things break, not used to the velocity. So it's, I always felt bad for catchers during all-star games that had to catch things. You know, especially when the all-star games counted towards, you know, towards something. That's a base hit. Actually, it's going to be extra bases into the right center gap. That's a leadoff hit here for Billy Kelly Mullins. Pricked up Mello McPorsham. And Harvey Sacred on the mound for the Cheddar All-Stars. Sacred 4-2 last season with the Colonels. The Colonels are looking great this season too. She had 3.14 ERA and 19 strikeouts. 2-2 two two is the count now on Mello McPorsham. Big looping curveball. Portion oh, blocks. There's Barnswell. Number 15. Barnswell, of course, for the rebranded Shoe Bills. Formerly the Warblers. Hit 378 last a good season for him. That's one out. There's two. Good turn there. Three. Six three. Top turn, actually. Good play there by Proctor. Runner advances to third. We have Lake Raina McLong for a buff. Raining batting champ. Feeling tense though. And she hits one into the gap. That scores a run. McLong is going for two. She get in there and she does. Slides it safely. And that is the first run of the ball game, folks. There's Kay Durham, first baseman of the Whalers. Playing today for the Pepper Jack All-Stars. And check on Blanco. Slides it safely. And that one's a base hit. The right side. I tested that. 
Oh, Heck of playing out there. The right field. Is that Ogle Corker? I think that might be Ogle Corker out there, right field. Jeez, he's got a gun. Kind of Watson steps in and hits that one. Oh, boy. Right at Ali. I used to hate. I never played the uh, outfield really. I used to hate those because sometimes those that that are uh, hit directly at you take a little drop step. You look, and sometimes they look like they're knuckling, and it just uh, throws it all off. Pace flies out. Barnswell for out number one. That's why I never play the outfield. Just, I wouldn't know what to do with that. It would look like it's going all over the place. Popped up. Barnesville's a busy guy out there in center field. That's out number two. And here's Cash Parsons. Playing center fielder. We're playing uh, left field today, rather, for the Cheddar All-Stars. Parsons, of course, for the Grand Page. 329. Hit last year. And looks... And a pitch and strikes out here. I'll bring up the bottom third of the order for the Pepperjack All Stars. Joy Trickster leads it off at that DH spot. Number 13. I have to say, I really do enjoy the Cheddar All Stars uniforms. Ripped oh, right at Aldo Davis. For the first out. I think if you'll notice that the yellow cheese color is prominent. Both uniforms. That one is hit the right now. Corker for out number two. Here's Jose Sicily, the number nine hitter. Jose Sicily actually kind of has like a Jim Larratt kind of stance in the box. For apropos, that's out number three. And very quick bottom half of the second there. The corker and then the top of the order too up here for the Cheddar All Stars. I mean, look at look at Ogle Corker's numbers or his stats rather. As it out the term. I was just gonna make a big point about it. The stats are off the charts, and he's your number nine hitter for the all, this All Star team. It's just incredible. Langston Ali hits a base hit, a little worm burner up the middle. So runner on, one out. Aldo Davis steps in. Mentioned Bo Lawson, 24 strikeouts. I mean, just an absolute strikeout machine. And down on strikes goes Davis. Sparks one for one with a single with two outs, runner on first. Stealing. And a. Oof, stole it. Sicily has a really good arm behind the plate, too, so that was, that was stolen on the pitcher. One and two on Sparks. And waving through that. And down go the Cheddar All-Stars in order. And top of the order coming up for Pepperjack. Who's on Mullins who's one for one with the double. Number 14. Just gonna do a quick check because I think that Bo Lawson, that one has popped up. And Gilmore is there for out number one. I do believe that Bo Lawson had the most strikeouts in all of the last season. I know. And that's a base hit up the middle. It's a little one out base knock in the bottom of the third. Tim Barnfell steps in over one. Number 15. Hugging the line there. Pace with the diving stop. There's no chance. There's really no play anywhere there. That was a tough, that was a tough play. Kept the runners. Kept the runners at first and second though. Either way, a double play would have been in. Anyway, one for one with a double and an RBI is Raina with the long curve. She lifted the ball high. Two and one. Sacred. 
two on, one out. And now a full count. And she is walked. So just doing uh, some little stat checking here, folks. Bo Lawson did have the most strikeouts in 2020 for all of Cheese League Baseball. That is fascinating. I didn't actually realize that. Popped up. Not going to be Alden Davis there to snag that one. It's out number two. Brings up Kenna Watson 0 for 1. With the bases loaded, two outs here at bottom of the third. Real opportunity here for Pepperjack to break it wide open. And that's out number three. And a wasted opportunity there for the Pepperjack All-Stars. Yeah, Micah Gilmore leading it off for the Cheddar team. It'll be the heart of the order, 4-5-6. And that one is fouled away. 0-2. Oh, and, and swinging through it. Good pitching, man. Awesome play. Again, that's why she had 24 strikeouts. Clarissa Newman was from the Whalers, actually, was the next with 23 strikeouts. Just fascinating. That fascinates me. Bo Loss is such a great, great strikeout pitcher. Fouls just can do it offensively for more than last year. Full count now on Justice Berg. Good pitch there from Lawson. Brings up Shepard Pace, 0 for 1. With two outs here in the top of the court. Two and two on pace. Ripped. Snagged by Kenna Watson at shortstop. And it'll be the bottom third of the order due up for the Pepperjack All-Stars. DH Joy Trickster steps in. Harvey Sacred had a great season in her own right for the Colonels. The Colonels are definitely a team to watch in 2021. I had a good feeling about them. And the strong men. The strong men, for some reason, just ringing in my head. Just Trickster draws a walk. Lester, 0 for 1. Strong men, for some reason, I just had this feeling about them in 2021. I'm just like looking at their stats and looking at their, their team. Oh, that one gets off of Sacred. Everyone is safe. And that brings up Sicily, the number nine hitter, with no outs. Runners on first and second here in the bottom of the court. Ball in the dirt. Strongman, of course, signs Spud Pepperonis. Tater Pepperonis' brother. Infield back up catcher. Popped up. Infield fly was called. She picked up River Keller, but more importantly, they re-signed Drew Woolmate, got Colorado Buchanan. Great move for them. One, six, and ooh, they're not able to complete the double play, so we got runners on the corners. There's Bella McCorshin, one for one. Single and a walk so far today. Another opportunity here for the Pepper Deck All-Stars. So. Oh, that one gets off of the Sparks and safe. And I crossed up. Ooh, and they clumped him. Boy, this crowd gets riled up by that. So, pass for, let's call that, yeah, let's call that a pass ball. So I think Sparks should have had that button to play. Pass ball, a clumped hitter, clumped batter. And two and two count now to Barnesball with two on and two outs here in the bottom of the court. Now the full count. And walks the bases loaded for Raina McLongthorne. One for one, a double and a walk and an RBI already today. And ooh, that may have been the pitch. That kind of hung up there. <laughs> one and one. 
Rips. But at Gilmore, that's out number three. And boy, Poker Jack All Star is kind of just wasting every opportunity they can. We've got a little look at the Tiki Man. Joe Boo out there in uh, center field. Proctor. Right back to Lawson. Out number one. Here in the top of the fifth. Cash Parsons. Take a look here at Parsons. Like I mentioned 15 RBIs, four homers last season, 906 OPS. Pretty darn good hitter. Center fielder for the rampage. That Lester for out number two. Here's Porker. Number 16. Again, I just I think the strong men. Porker and the strong man. They could just a couple more pieces, and I think they did. I think they picked up some good pitching. Signed Woolmate again. I think that's a great move. And he is walked. Awesome. Oh, surprise. It's one for two with a single. Top the order. The Cheddar All Star. And that's fouled away. Oh, and two. A little looper over to Durham. That's out number three. We'll go to the bottom half of the fifth. Actually, be Durham to lead it off. Durham Watson. Trickster for the Pepper Jacks side. Now pitching number 36. Yeah, Dainty Simon come in and relief of Harmony Sacred. Popped up. Is Ali going to be able to get there? Yeah. Or Davis, sorry. Aldo Davis. Aldo Davis. Well, he does. Either way, he does. So that's out number one. Kenna Watson stepped in over for two. It's Kenna Watson of the Shoe Bills. Shoe Bills, not only did they improve their brand as Trickster looks on a ball low, they improved their team quite a bit too for 2021. Trickster scores right through that one. Holy cow. That one's hit quite well, but just got under it. Ali out number three. Davis, Sparks, and Gilmore, two, three, and four now. Top of the six. Jenner All Stars. Bo Loss is still in the mound, pitching away. Approaching 70 pitches. That's five strikeouts. Way inside. One and one. Shoe Bills really, really. That one is ripped. Is that going to get over his head? It does. Lester fields it off the wall, and it's a leadoff double. And Cheddar All Stars have a base runner here, folks. Class Sparks, one for two, single today. This will start that rally. Six innings seems to be the rally inning for these teams the past two games. Jam shot off the hands. Pop the Mullins. Out number one. Here comes Mike and Gilmore. Both from two. Because it mentioned uh, the shoe bills. Picked up a couple of great players from the Winter League Challenge. Arlo Franks and Layla Hogan. So signed Russ Small. So, I mean, those are three A rated players there. That one has popped up oh. to Sicily for out number two. And also, Cheddar All Stars would like to not waste this opportunity. It's just a third, 0 for two. And one and two on Bird. Whiffer is activated. Steady lines out to Durham. So that leadoff double is wasted. Lester, Sicily, and Mullins in the bottom part of the sixth inning for the Pepperjack All-Stars. Yeah, the Shoe Bills definitely 
They definitely improved. Three A-rated players. They have really stellar pitching staff. I think they could really be a force to, force to be reckoned with. Three and one now on Lester. And that one is high and far, but, oh, that's over his head. Over Carson's head in left field. So Pepper Jack All-Stars have a leadoff double. It's like deja vu all over again. Here's Jose Sicily. Over two. Outside. Outside. One and two now on Sicily. Got him. Down on strikes. One for three with a double today. We should let off the game with a double. All stars. Check on the runner. Great speed at second base. Base hit up the middle. That's going to score that run for sure. Ali fires the second base. And it's a 3 0 game. Pepperjack All Stars. Looking to seal the deal here. Here's Mel McPorsham. One for one. Single. Walking. He's hit by pitches last time up. Ripped right at Gilmore for the second out. Barnsville, one for two. Single and a walk as well for the car as well. One and two. And now two and two on Barnesville. Down on strikes. So top of the seventh. Cheddar All-Stars last chance to tie it up. Six, seven, and eight do what Shepard Pace will leave rough for them. Number four. Gabby Shepard Pace's stats. A great season for these steamrollers, though. 375, 18 RBIs, three home runs, 989 OPS. I mean, great, great season for Shepard Pace. Lawson is all flashing in the red now. This is her last batter, for sure. This one has popped up in front of the plate. Sicily fans under it. Out of number one. Let's see. They're going to throw in Alberto Blaze. I thought they actually might go Harrington. Closer, but they don't. The Blaze comes in. That brings up Proctor's 0 for 2. One out here in the top of the seventh. One and two. Tried to get him to chase high. Two and two. Popped up, Mullins camps under it. That is out number two, and this is it, folks. This is the last chance here for the Cheddar All-Stars to win the ball game, win the series, or at least tie it up, because that's an option. 3-0, oh, Parsons, there's a strike from Blaze. Thank you, mate. Blaze is not the most accurate pitcher. <laughs> Accuracy is a little lower on that scale. There's Corker 0 for 1. There's a strike. 94 in the gun there from Alberto Blaze. There's another strike. And a ball inside gets away from Sicily. Runner can't advance. Believe. That one gets away from Sicily for sure. So runner advances, so runner in scoring position. And walked it. Berto Blaze will once again join. The runner up Olympians in 2021. Rips. Now that's it, folks. That's the ball game. Marcos Lester there with the final put out. The Pepper Jack All Stars win, and they are victorious in this three-game 
All-Star Showcase Series. Let's take a look at the lines. 0, 3, and 0 for the Cheddar All-Stars. 3, 8, and 1 for the Pepper Jack All-Stars. So those Cheddar All-Stars, they just blew the whole, uh, got, you know, all their hitting out of the way last game. They were 1, 7 to 1. Home field, maybe it's home field advantage, but we played all three games of Shock Sports Sir. Can't say anything about that. Hits on the Cheddar side from Ali and Davis. Sparks. And that's it. They had five strikeouts, three walks. On the Pepper Jack side, we had two hits from Mullins, an RBI, Forsham, Barneswell, McLong, throughout Durham, and then two for three was Lester. And their RBI is coming from McLong, throughout. And boy, they it's a great game. Great game all around. Good pitching matchup there, too, from Bo Lawson, who gets the win in Army Sacred. So, uh, definitely some pitchers you got to watch out for. That's kind of nice about this showcase series. Some things to look forward to in the 2021 Cheese League Baseball season. All right, look at this. Look at this. A trio of women up front as our one, two, and three players. That's fantastic. We've got Bo Lawson, of course, six and a third innings pitch, three hits, one walk, five Ks. Well deserved. Ellie Mullins, two for four, double RBI and a run. And then Randy McLong for a one for two, double and an RBI as well. Um, yes, that's awesome. I think that actually may have been the first time that we've had three, uh, three of our women players make all three at the top, uh, including last season. So that's pretty awesome. Okay. All right. Well, on that cool note, uh, that is it for the All-Star Showcase series here on Cheese League Baseball on YouTube. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Be sure to follow us here on YouTube. This is your home for Cheese League Baseball. All this big simulated baseball action. We've got lots more of that coming for you here in 2021. We're going to a whole entire Cheese League Baseball season. We've got another showcase series coming up. Uh, and uh, some summer uh, spring training and summer camp games coming up before our season launches in July. That's it for me, though. Thank you so much for watching. Follow us on Twitter at Geek underscore Cheese for all of your Cheese League baseball and Geek Cheese news, and we will see you guys next time. Thanks again. Take care. Bye.